Welcome to Marketing Traps, episode number two. Today we're gonna to talk about a trap that I see so many people do, specifically with AdWords. And it is just, it drives me crazy, especially when I have um, set up campaigns and other things, and I see clients jump in there because they can't help themselves. And so we'll talk about this marketing trap. It is something that I'm sure if you do Google Ads, you've seen, and it probably, you wondered what you should do about this. It's gonna be a very, very good episode if you use Google AdWords and you're not super familiar with Google AdWords. What's up everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears and this is Marketing Traps where I talk about common mistakes and common traps that, mar that people fall into when they're doing their digital marketing. So today we're gonna to talk about suggestions that happen inside of Google AdWords. Now Google is a great platform you're able to reach tons of people. You're able to reach a huge percentage of the internet. I love Google AdWords. The thing is, it is pretty complicated. And if you're not super familiar with the, the back end of it, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes setting up your campaigns. So that being said, a lot of times people will ask me, hey, I got all these recommendations. And it drives me crazy. Google, you drive me crazy. If, you're, if you are an agency, you probably suffer the same problem as well you'll get, the clients will get from Google a list of recommendations and a report that doesn't really tell too much about the health of the ad campaigns. And so they'll get recommendations like, hey, if you add these 73 keywords to this ad group, you're gonna get more impressions. It's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> if you add broad match keywords, you're gonna get tons of impressions, but are they the right impressions? So when you're thinking about Google AdWords, I really don't like to do broad match keywords. Um, I'm not working with any brands or businesses that are like toilet paper companies where you're selling something that everybody can buy. Um, a lot of times we're targeting really niche targets and we're looking for very specific intents in your keywords. Now, when you're using Google, you have the benefit of targeting people who have different levels of intent, right? So some people are doing research and they're not ready to buy, they're just taking a look, they're putting their, their big toe in the water and trying to see what the temperature is. And then on the other end, you have somebody who needs something this minute and it's a matter of life and death. And like seriously, with the veterinary practices that I work with, you have people who are searching for an emergency vet because their dog is, something's happening and they need somebody right now. The first person to show up is the person who gets it. So it, that's a huge potential of difference, right? And so like it, going back to that veterinary example there, you have people who need somebody this minute versus somebody who's like, hey, what's a good dog breed, right? And if you put in a broad match, you could be showing up for both of those intent levels. And that's crazy. So you want to make sure to avoid that. Now, a lot of times Google will do things to help get you more impressions, which is good for them. It's not necessarily good for you. Unless you have an unlimited budget and you're willing to go out and test things and then prune it with negative keywords, it's gonna be really, really difficult for you because you're gonna get tons of clicks that are not the right intent and you'll end up wasting your ad spend, which is really, really valuable and it needs to be protected. So that being said, you're gonna get recommendations all the time and the little bell notification when you log in and it's gonna say, hey, add these, literally, I think the last one I looked at said, hey, if you add these 73 keywords, you're gonna get more impressions. It's like, yes, I know I will. I don't wanna do that. And I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it when I jump into an AdWords account and I see that the client has gone through and mass added broad match keywords to campaigns that we set up very specifically. Now that's on me because I'm not setting expectations properly and making sure it's explicitly clear hey we're being very very targeted on intent here so that doesn't happen anymore typically but it did happen especially as i started my agency it was so frustrating so if you see um what suggestions on your ad account typically i don't suggest that you follow them unless there's a very specific reason why you say hey this makes sense i want to add a broad match for dog owners or <laughs> right where you're going to get everything under the sun i remember one time um, a client had added broad match keywords and we were getting search results on Chrissy Teigen's pets or something. It was completely unrelated and we were paying for clicks on that. It was crazy. So make sure that your intent is going to match your ad and it's going to match the kinds of clients and, and stage of the funnel that you're targeting. And if you think that the broad match keywords or the additional keywords are going to hit that intent, then it's worth trying. But don't just go and add them to ad sets right away. 
make a new ad set that you can test and measure and see is it working is it not working and figure out what to do from there so don't let this trap happen to you i hope that you enjoyed this video if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing i hope that you enjoyed it and i will see you on next episode of traffic trap